So you have an old laptop or desktop which is just sitting around somewhere in your house collecting dust all these years because you had bought a brand new laptop a while ago and you now use that new one all the time instead of the old one because well it's just outdated and not fast enough. The only options left for that old laptop or PC is to either let it rust and hope that it eventually fades away as time goes by and you just forget about it or sell it to someone for very little cash Money. or put these type of funky stickers on it and use it like a retro showpiece of some sort to show off to your guests or friends. I'm cool. By the way, I may or may not have gone a bit overboard with the stickers, don't judge me. Or you can actually install an operating system in it like Android for instance that does not require a high specs machine. and install your favorite retro games from Nintendo and PlayStation or even play some Android games from Google Play Store on the big screen. So in this video I will not only be installing Chrome OS in this decade old laptop, I will also be installing a few retro games in it in hopes of making this my go to retro games laptop. Hey guys what is up this is Harry welcome back to my channel and without further ado let's get started. So the only things we'll be needing for this to work is a laptop or a PC, a pen drive preferably with 8 gigs of storage and a good internet connection to download a few files. The laptop I'm going to be using here is the Dell Inspiron N5010 with an i3-370M chipset with 3 gigs of RAM and 300 gigs of internal hard disk. Pretty old laptop. Disclaimer alert, I would recommend you to take a backup of all of the data in your internal hard disk or SSD if you want to save the data because it will be lost. And I do not recommend creating a partition for this operating system because chances are that you will lose the entire data so it's best to use a blank hard disk or SSD that you do not use. You may transfer the data to an external hard disk such as this one if you want. Alright so we need to download two files. The first one is the Chrome operating system itself called the Prime OS. So let's head over to the official website of Prime OS. You can find the direct link in the description below. This Made in India operating system is an Android based OS which provides desktop like experience similar to Windows or Mac OS on laptops and desktops. And it's just perfect for old and low end devices such as this one. Let's click on download and scroll down. Here we can see three different versions of this OS, two of which are Android 11 beta versions for x86, Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 4B platforms. These beta versions could potentially have a lot of bugs since they are beta and not the final release versions so you can expect some issues on your laptop or PC if you install any one of these. And the third one we see here is the non-beta Android 7 version which should be stable enough and should not have any bugs in it since it has been released after running all the necessary tests. So this is the version we'll be installing in my laptop today. Here we want to download the ISO file and not the executable file. As soon as we click on the ISO option we get to see these three different variants mainline, standard and classic and it's really simple to decide which variant you have to install in your laptop or PC. Mainline Prime OS is for those newest models that were released during or after the year 2014. Standard Prime OS is for those models which were released prior to the year 2014 and during or after the year 2011. While the classic Prime OS is for all the remaining older 32-bit systems. So in order to check your laptop's compatible version, all you gotta do is to do a small Google search. Since my laptop has an Intel i3-370M chipset, I'll just type that on Google and hit search. Go to the Intel website on the search results page, scroll down and next to the launch date we can see Q3 or quarter 3 of the year 2010. This thing is ancient. So for me it's gonna be the classic version. Comment below and let me know which version you're gonna be installing in your old laptop or PC. Now let's head back to the Prime OS website and choose the option classic here. Another web page will open showing us the download options. Go ahead and download the file which is a bit over 1 gigabyte. I have already downloaded the file so I won't be downloading it again. The next application we'll be needing is known as Rufus. This application will be used to create a bootable pen drive with the Prime OS in it. So let's head over to the Rufus website. The direct link is in the description below once again. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of Rufus is 3.18 which is only a 1.3 MB file. Go ahead and click on it to download. I have already downloaded this file as well. So now we have both the required files that we had to download. 
Okay, now let's insert the pen drive in the laptop and start the Rufus application. If you have any data in the pen drive, then take a backup of it now because it will be erased. Under device, choose the pen drive that you have inserted. Under boot selection, choose the option disk or ISO image and click on select button right next to it. Locate the downloaded ISO file and select it and click on start. Choose the pre-selected recommended option right in ISO image mode and click on OK button. Click on OK at the prompt which says all data in the pen drive will be erased and overwritten. This operation will copy the ISO files on the pen drive which we will use to install the Prime OS on our old laptop or PC. This may take a while so you might have to wait for a few minutes. Once it is done, it will show the status as ready. Go ahead and close the window as the files have been copied to the pen drive successfully. Eject the pen drive. Now let's head over to the old laptop where we wish to install Prime OS. Before we move forward, if you are enjoying this video so far, then hit the like button since that helps the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to more people. And while you're at it, go on and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't subscribed already. Moving on to the old laptop, insert the pen drive. If you have a Dell laptop like me, then hold down the F12 key and then start the laptop. Otherwise, do a little Google search to check how to enter the boot option for your specific laptop or PC brand. Use the arrow keys to select the option to boot from USB storage device and hit enter. We are now reading directly from the pen drive. Scroll down to go to the advanced options. Scroll down to go to the option auto install to specific hard disk and press enter. It will ask you to select the drive you wish to install the operating system in. I'm gonna select this option which shows 300GB of internal hard disk that came with the laptop. In the next window, select yes for auto installation and hit enter. It will now format that particular drive and install Prime OS Classic over there. This will be faster if you have an SSD. Since mine is an internal hard disk, it will take some time so I'm gonna skip forward here. So over here, I suggest you to select the option reboot instead of run Prime OS because chances are it might not run properly. It will now reboot from the hard disk and load Prime OS for the first time. And there you go. Welcome to Prime OS. Click on proceed. I'm just gonna enter these required details here which won't take long. It's similar to setting up your Android phone or tablet for the first time. And done. You can easily turn on the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth just like that. Let's head over to the settings first. Scroll down here and select the last option that says about device. From here you can download and install the latest software updates directly. We can confirm here that the classic version was installed on this x86 platform. If you wish to enable root access to fiddle around with the system then all you gotta do is go back and enter Prime OS settings and change it from here that says root access. Moving forward, I have already logged into my Google Play Store account, it's pretty simple. You can download any of the apps or games listed here and most of them work just fine on the x86 platform. Let's open up the app CPU-Z and confirm the Android version which should be under the Systems tab. It's 7.1.2 which should upgrade over time as and when a more stable version is released. Some of the apps come pre-installed and you can update them easily. You can change the window size like this just like in your Windows laptop. You can also hover down and right click on any app to either close it or pin it there. It's pretty responsive to be honest even though this is an old device. The best thing about this sort of a setup is that not only do you get an Android device with a large screen, you also get an inbuilt fully functional keyboard which you might have had to buy separately in case if you had bought an Android tablet. And you can use the inbuilt USB port to simply connect an external device such as a mouse or a gamepad which by the way can be customized as well. Since this operating system is built specifically for gaming, most people who install this OS like to play PUBG on their laptops and it works just fine. I on the other hand as already informed will be playing emulated games of different consoles like Nintendo and PlayStation. You can see how responsive the games are and they do look good on the big screen as well. I will be shortly starting a new series altogether based around these sort of emulated games on how you can install and play them in your devices be it your laptops, PCs or even mobile phones. So if you are interested in these kind of retro games then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time as soon as I upload the videos. I will be taking your leave now, until next time, stay safe and take care.